Welcome viewers. What I intend to show you with this video is how to assemble a V8 bike. So here's our starting point which is a 1959 Simca Vedette 2.4 litre side valve V8. Um, compared to when it was in the Simca it now has a special flywheel which takes a Corolla ring gear and the BMW motorbike clutch. The water outlets have been modified to point forwards instead of straight up. It has a fabricated sump down there which um, incorporates some engine mounts and alternator mounts and things. Um, got rid of the water pump and the big harmonic balancer from the crankshaft. So it's just a little tooth pulley there and the instead of the water pump there's a shear plate which um, the purpose of which will become obvious later and the water inlet for the cooling water and suddenly appearing on the back of the engine we have the bell housing which is the original Simca bell housing cut down to about 40 mil thick and then a plate welded on which takes the Subaru starter motor and the BMW gearbox and some mounts for the frame. And there's the BMW clutch and there's the BMW gearbox just slightly modified at the top to take the starter motor. There's the starter motor and now you can see appearing on the back of the assembly um, the rear part of the frame which attaches to the bell housing down below and to the inlet manifold up above and there's two extra tubes there that join to the bell housing in the back of the engine which makes it nicely triangulated and good and strong and stiff and that's how it looks from the side in case anyone cares now it's time to hang something off the front of the engine to stop it toppling over backwards so uh, the next step is to attach the front of the motorbike sitting there uh, to the front of the engine. And there it is attached. Up here to that shear plate we talked about earlier on and with the brace running down to the inlet manifold. And down below to the sump, making the sump stressed. And the whole thing nice and strong. It's starting to look a bit like a motorbike now. So the next stage is to bolt in the alternator, which is tooth belt drive off the front of the crankshaft just there. Hey presto, Suzuki Barina alternator bolted in place, which runs back to front. And to stop it getting all covered in rocks and debris from the front wheel, it's got a little cover like so. I suppose I should point out while we're here the custom handlebars that I made for it which reach far enough back so that you can uh, get your hands on them from behind the engine and down here in a minute we're going to put a, a little brace on just to attach the front and rear frame together and there it is bolted in uh, and the clutch cable you can see Hey presto, custom built aluminium radiator, complete with electric fan, and about to appear here is the electric water pump. One distributor, the distributor cap and some plug leads. Now, while you weren't looking, the bike's acquired a rear swing arm, uh, coils mounted there, and you can see the air filter on top of the carburetor. Very slim air filter, because the top of the air filter ends up only about half an inch below the top of the fuel tank when you were all done. Battery and battery box, there's the rear subframe attached. 
Here's the rear shocks. He's really starting to look like a motorbike now. Centre stand and foot pegs have appeared there. And there's an exciting bit coming up next. Well, exciting for me anyway. And there they are. Newly chromed set of extractors. Which I'm quite looking forward to seeing turn all nice and gold and blue when they get hot. Next thing we need to add is a custom built 800mm long aluminium fuel tank, the rear wheel, the rear mudguard and of course a custom made cafe racer style seat and to finish off the rear end a nice cafe racer-ish double cone exhaust pipe muffler type thing. And to answer the most commonly asked question about this bike, yes it is a V8, hence four plugs on each side, but only three, ex three exhaust pipes because the middle two exhaust ports are Siamese together into one. Seems to be running. I guess we should take it for a ride. <laughs> 